everyone, Dylan Lott here with Baking Maps and Substance Painter 2. This tutorial is going to approach how to take a low poly game ready asset from a modeling software such as 3ds Max or Maya and import that mesh into Substance Painter and bake a normal and AO map by name from a high poly mesh. So let's take a look at that process. I have 3ds Max open and what I have here is my low poly game ready asset with smoothing groups set for baking and I have my UV unwrap applied with my islands set into my one by one UV plane. Now if none of that makes any sense uh, I will link some documentation below and I strongly encourage you to check out the documentation before you continue with the tutorial as it is absolutely vital to baking maps. So with that being said I have my high poly directly beneath my low and if you take a look here at my naming panel, I have everything set as underscore high or underscore low. The most important thing when baking by name and Substance Painter is that for each individual piece of your mesh, you have it named exactly the same with the difference being underscore high or underscore low depending on which asset it is. So for example, if I select this grip here, you'll note that it comes up as underscore low. And if I select the high poly, it comes up as grip underscore high. That is the, that's the key for baking by name in Substance Painter 2. So after you have everything appropriately named, depending on the mesh, all you do is export either an FBX or an OBJ, which I have already done. So then we open up Substance Painter. We're going to start a new project. I'm going to set my template on PBR Metal Rough. I'm going to select my low poly mesh and I'm going to set my document resolution to 2048. Now my file has come up and I'm going to adjust my AO intensity and I'm going to put a fill layer here. Now you don't have to do this, this is just so that the final bake uh, reads better um, and it will help understand uh, once the maps actually would come in place. So you don't have to do this step. And I'm going to set my my environment map to over the clouds here. And I'm going to turn my opacity down, and here we go. All right, so uh, in your texture set settings panel, uh, in the exact same place that it appears in Substance Painter 1, you'll see the Bake Textures button next to Additional Maps. We're going to hit that Bake Textures. And now you'll see your, your baking uh, dialog box come up here, and typically what I'll do is I'll just select None so it deselects all the maps, and I'll just select my Normal and AO. Now, when I'm baking maps, uh, I like to always make sure that my normal and AO map um, are as close to perfect as possible. Um, before I bake anything like a world space or a curvature or position that drive procedural effects, um, because, and that's because if you get any artifacting or any, uh, any messiness in your normal and AO, uh, that's what's going to drive all of the rest of the maps that you bake. So I try to make sure that those are really clean before I do anything that uh, messes with procedural settings. Now I have set my output size to 2048 by 2048. I'm going to select my high poly mesh by clicking this little file box here. And I select my high poly mesh. You can see it's been loaded here. And uh, the most important thing is coming down to match and setting your match to mesh name. Now all we do is we hit bake and we go from there. Now, in a typical workflow, what you would have to do is you would have to take your high poly mesh and your low poly mesh, and you would have to explode them in like 3ds Max or Maya. But the awesome thing about Substance Painter 2 is that when we bake by name and we have the appropriate uh, suffix set, we don't have to explode anything, we don't have to animate anything. We can leave our mesh exactly where it is, and as you can see, we can get we can get a beautiful bake in just a couple of seconds with the push of a button. Now, if anyone has any further questions, or if you'd like to see anything else, please feel free to leave me a comment, and we can go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.